Hmm. A twofer? Don't mind if I do. Round number two. Here we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a special second weekend episode edition of Brian's Jerky Journey, episode 12. I'm your host in the place to be, the notorious Brian G. Um, Sunday afternoon here in New England. Uh, when I left off episode 11, I was about to check in for a annual, for not annual, for a weekend long religious education retreat for our whole lives, uh, religious education training. And when I ended that episode, I just checked, it was about 15 minutes from checking in, and I just got out about 15 minutes ago. So, uh, I just kind of needed to unwind a little bit. It was a very long, but very rewarding uh, time there. So if you think about it, I'd spent probably in upwards, I would say 45 hours, <laughs> um, staying there Friday and Saturday, almost two full days, um, you know, for this. So. Uh, it was a very long weekend, a very fulfilling weekend. Got to got to know uh, two of my other co-facilitators that I'm going to be uh, teaching the uh, kindergarten first grade component with, and um, yeah, it was great. I just you know, it was a very long time, <laughs> very long period. So um, I just thought, hey, what better way to just kind of unwind for a couple minutes before going back to the reality than by doing another beef jerky review episode? So. Um, this particular brand I wanted to um, review with you guys. It's been some another brand that I've seen fairly a lot of and um, been wanting to try, never tried before. And uh, some people have actually given me recommendations for this. And the name of the brand is called Tillamook. I believe it's called Tillamook. Tillamook, Tillamook. When I'm saying Tillamook, I sound like my, uh, my family. But, um, and this is a special flavor because uh, I reviewed t a teriyaki brand on Friday, and um, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, on Saturday and today I actually had one ounce uh, teriyaki beef jerky uh, sizes of the Market Pantry that I had done in one of my first reviews. So um, I actually had some beef jerky earlier this morning, but I figured, you know, what the hell, let's do another one for this for this episode. So, but yeah, you know, just you know, like I said, just getting out of the owl training. It was a hoot, you know, hoot. Hoot, hoot, hoot. <laughs> so anyway, so let's look back at this bag. It Right off the top of the bag, it talks, they consider themselves to be a country smoker. Made with 100% premium USA beef, zero grams total carbs per serving. In this bag, there's 2.2 ounces in the bag which equates to two servings. Standard one ounce size. Um, just reading the back here, they talk about the um, and it's the special black pepper, which I've, I've eaten black pepper before, it's good, but I will say if you've never had black pepper jerky before, it is kind of an acquired taste. So um, it is a little, a little spicier as it should be because it's black pepper. So if you're looking for the sweetness, you can lean more towards teriyaki, but if you're looking for a little smokiness, with a little hint of sweet, you go to original. After that, is really when the flavors start to stand out. And black pepper is definitely one of those flavors. So, reading the back of the bag, uh, they, they tout having uh, this brand be made with real hardwood smoke. Um, there's a yoga pose, and it says, this beef jerky brings the great taste of our real hardwood smoked jerky, but with zero grams of sugar and 14 grams of protein per serving. It's a perfect snack for an active lifestyle. Um, and I've pretty much been inactive the last two days, so I'm kind of going against my train of thought here. Um, this uh, this brand came about in 1975. Three Oregon families came together to create beef jerky of the highest quality, and today they hold true to these same standards of excellence. And they tout it being American-made from premium cuts of U.S. beef. Um, they proudly state it's produced and packaged in the U.S. in Tulumuk County, Oregon. So. Standard one ounce size bag, this two ounce serving size bag, is 70 calories, 10 calories from fat, a gram and a half of total fat with a half a gram of saturated fat and no trans fats, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, 500 milligrams of sodium, no carbs. It says zero grams of carbs. I'm actually very surprised to hear that. Uh, also no dietary fiber or sugars and 14 grams of protein. So they, they stayed zero grams total carbs 
if you're looking for a carb-free option, this might be it, depending on how uh, the taste is, which we'll go to in a minute, and we'll rank as we do it. So, um, I've gotten some feedback already so far in the last couple of days uh, since I posted the, um, officially launched the episode 11 uh, late last night. And um, good feedback in terms of the fact that I now rank these, these products. So, uh, we're going to start with tenderness and texture on a five point scale, and that will account for 25% of the total score. So, let's dig into it. So, already ripping the bag. As I'm about to undo the seal, I can already smell it. Ooh, and I can already smell it just kind of leaning in a little bit. So take out a piece. Ooh, look at that. It comes out as two pieces. Let's take one off. So it comes off, but I think you attribute it to the fact that it's a black pepper um, flavor that's probably a little drier. So tenderness and texture, it is sturdy but looks dry and hard to kind of move around. So on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna give this a three. Scent and smell. So as I mentioned, I can already sort of start to smell it as I was starting to do undo the seal. Take a sniff of it. You can definitely smell that it's got kind of a kick, a little bit of a kick to it, but um, I still think it's inconclusive as to how it will translate into taste. So I'm gonna give the smell because it's kind of authentic to the black pepper brand, um, black pepper flavor. I'll give this a four. And then chewiness and taste. So if this is kind of, a, the texture is kind of rough, I'm assuming the chewiness is gonna be kind of tough. So let's take a look. Yeah, so you really gotta dig into it. And you start to kind of get a hint of the kick from the black pepper. And unlike other brands, as you swallow it, you got kind of an aftertaste on it. But it's fairly good. But I wouldn't say it's as good as what I had on Friday, which I gave a five out of five. So, and I think it just speaks to the brand flavor itself. As I've mentioned in prior episodes, I do prefer the teriyaki or the original um, in general, but I do like to change things up a little bit. So, um, for the sake of preference in looking at the quality of the taste of this particular flavor, I'm gonna probably give it a solid four for taste. So, scent and smell is 25% as well as the texture and tenderness, and the chewiness and taste is 50%. So I give it three to tenderness and texture, and then a four to scent and smell. So that right there, the seven, there's three and a half stars right there. And a four out of that, three and a half. Well, that doesn't really add up. Um, a little hard to do the math in my head this time. But what I will do is I will determine this after I, I finish this video. I will finish this bag as I drive to my in-laws to pick up my kids. And the Patriots game starts in 35 minutes, so hopefully catch the beginning of that. Um, and just so you know, I got my Pats gear on, of course, today. But, um, yeah, so I will uh, get that updated and probably get this video out in the next couple days from when this is launched. Um, I hope you guys have a great start to your week, rest of, the, of your week. Hope today, as the start of your week, starts off well. In the meantime, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button to watch past, present, and future videos, as well as leave any comments you might have on these vid on this video or any other videos that you've seen in terms of what you like or don't like uh, and any particular types of brandy. Of brandy. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm probably going to have some brandy or something strong tonight after the weekend of training that I had. But uh, any types of beef jerky uh, or any types of jerky that you might uh, recommend, let me know. Uh, and then, you know, feel free to like me on uh, my Facebook page at Brian's Jerky Journey, on Twitter at BG Jerky Journey, or on Instagram at Brian Jerky Journey. So that'll do it for a special two-second episode in a three-day period, uh, episode 12 of Brian's Jerky Journey. I hope you enjoy the journey with me, and join me on the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching Brian's Jerky Journey. If you don't like jerky, you suck.